Hey guys, Herbie Asta Below 70 here, back with another video, and um, this is just going to be an update on my N64 collection. Uh, these are all box complete. It's only a fairly small collection, but um, I've added some pretty cool titles of late, so um, yeah, so I'll do um, a little update collection for you good people. Um, I was talking about N64 stuff uh, just through YouTube with um, Ocarina Fellow, he sort of mentioned that. My collection must be uh, growing in size because of the games I bought, so I thought I'd put it up. Uh, it's nowhere near as good as your collection, sir. Mr. Ocarina Fellow, yours is absolutely unbelievable. I don't think mine will ever be anywhere near uh, that, but I'm just going for the games that I uh, the games that I like and, you know, the real good games. Sorry if I sound rough, I've got a stinking hangover and um, stinking cold. So, uh, yeah, it's supposed to be a quiet one last night, just played darts. And um, one of my best mates is off to Vegas for a stag do, so he said, "Oh, you know, we'll be sensible, just have a couple." So we got to about eleven o'clock, and we'd had a few beers, and uh, he said, "Right, come on, let's have some Jaegers." So yeah, that's why I look like this: piss holes in the snow, rough as shit. Anyway, enough of that. Um, yeah, start showing you some games. First up is a game I had. Uh, when I originally had an N64, love this game for bits, and that's a uh, 1080 snowboarding. All these are in box protectors. Oh, excuse me. All got manuals apart from one, which I'll talk about when I get to it. Um, yeah, I got this one off the Ryan Shan for a really good price. It's in really good nick. I'm trying to get all my uh, N64 games in a good condition as I can for a reasonable price because, as you know, they're uh, they're fetching silly prices some of these games. So. Yeah, I've got box protectors, except, except one, which I say as I'll talk about in a minute. So that's that one. I love that game. Uh, and all the cartridges, by the way, are in... Um, I've got some little uh, baskets in the game room that I keep them in, so I don't have to keep fucking about with the boxes. Uh, next up is one of my favourite games on the console. And one I'm playing... Well, I've not played it for a little while, but I'm playing through it at the minute. And that's Banjo-Kazooie. Um, if you haven't played this game, I would highly recommend it. Um, you know, it's, it's a rare, not rare as in it's sought after game, it's a rare game as in where I, that kind of rare. Yeah, it's just got this fucking writing on the barcode, which is annoying, but other than that, it's in really good nick. Absolute quality game, can't say enough good things about this. I bought the, um, I bought the Banjo-Kazooie game on the 360 and it was shit. So disappointed with it. Really bad. Um, anyway, next up is, um, Fairly rare, fairly expensive game. Uh, that's Banjo Tui. Um, not quite as good as Banjo Kazooie in my opinion, but still a real good game. Uh, this one's in pretty good condition. There's the old nick in it, but um, I got this for a reasonable price. I think I paid 35 or 36 quid for this, um, which isn't bad because this can go for a lot of money. So. Really happy to have that in the collection. I had it back in the day as well and got rid of it, and mine was like was absolutely spanking. So, but you know, live and learn. Uh, next up is a game I've not played yet, to be honest, and that's Beetle Adventure Racing. I bought this mainly because I really wanted it when I was a kid, and it was like 60 quid in the shop. And I didn't have 60 quid as a kid, I mean, you did, right? So, uh, I found it for a good price, and uh, again, in good nick. I'll show you the condition of all these, I suppose, kind of. And uh, yeah, not played it yet, but um, bought this for nostalgia as much as anything, really, just because I wanted it back then and didn't have it. Uh, yeah, these box protectors as well are awesome. If you're thinking about getting them and you haven't done yet, I would highly recommend it, even if it's just for your expensive games. I mean, I like the way they look and the way they hold the games on the shelves. That's you know why I bought them. Uh, next up is a game. Uh, uh, bear with me one second, I think that's the postman. I thought yes, it was the postman, and um, obviously there's games in the post. Two PS3 games, I'm thinking, so uh, you get to see live unboxing. Mm. Sorry, I was talking about this game. Um, love this game to death. Um, paid a fair bit of money for this, but it is um, one of the best condition games I've got, I think. And uh, that's Donkey Kong 64. 
Uh, it's absolutely, well, I won't say mint because there is the very slight nick in it and there's this horrible sticker thing on the end, but I mean, other than that, there's no crushing, no creases. Yeah, uh, I love this game to death. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I love the Super Nintendo version, which I've got now. Uh, thanks to Steve, 36207. Nailed the number this time, bud. Um, yeah, I've got the SNES version, I've got this version, I've got the Wii version. And um, the Wii U version looks pretty good as well. Is it Frozen Tropics? I think that's out soon as well. Oh, which reminds me, I've got an... I've ordered an awesome, awesome, awesome item from Amazon, which should be on Tuesday, I think. So excited. I'll definitely be doing a video for that. Anyway, I'll get sidetracked. So yes, brilliant game. Been playing that a little bit recently too. Fucking awesome. Uh, next up is a game I bought simply because... Uh, what game was it? Um, one of my Mario games I bought, I think it's Mario Kart, didn't have... The box insert, which bugged me, because uh, being a Mario game, I wanted it complete because uh, they're getting more expensive and you know all that bollocks. So I bought F1 World Grand Prix just for the box insert. I mean, it was like two pound fifty, I think. And as it turned out, the box was in reasonable condition. Uh, the cartridge is all right. There's just no manual. So um, yeah, I'm, I'll probably come across a manual for this at some point. And um, I run out of box protectors at the minute. So this one hasn't got a box protector. Um, the place I get my box protectors from, I think they're called Sentinel 64 or something like that. I've run out of N64 ones, so I'll have to wait until they restock them and buy another whack. So uh, yeah, not played this. It's probably shit, but hey ho. Uh, a game that isn't shit by any means. Uh, another one of my favourites on the system, and that's F Zero X. Um, this game will give you a nosebleed, it's that fucking fast. Absolutely love this game to death. Um, again, I've played this one recently as well. Um, yeah, lots of nostalgia for this. I played the hell out of this as a kid. Completed all the cups, you know, all the reverse tracks, everything. Uh, this one is a little bit beat up on the edge. Uh, I had some stickers there. I think I'll get a black marker and uh, colour some of this in, which is a nice little trick, isn't it? I think it's Cube Master General. Possibly, that uh, well, did that recently. I could be completely wrong. Anyway, yeah, this, uh, apart from that, it's in fairly good nick. You know, the box is in good shape and there's no massive uh, crushing on it or anything, so that's that one. Uh, another game that most people would think is shit, but um, I love my FIFA games, so FIFA 64. Uh, again, this is in a really good nick. Obviously, the graphics and stuff are dated now, but. I like to play it, seeing all the old footballers and stuff. Uh, yeah, this one's pretty good, Nick. So it's that one. Uh, yeah, next up. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, what can you say about this game? Um, I think I've said it before. I've probably put more hours into this game than any other game ever. Um, played to absolute death as a kid. The story and the multiplayer. Uh, I'm still playing now. Still just as good, in my opinion. Um, yeah, real good nick. Love this game to death. Absolutely awesome. Okay, next up we've got some Mario games. First is... Excuse me, Mario Golf. Not too much to say about this, it's a Mario Golf game. This one's in excellent condition. There we go, that's that one. And then we've got uh, a game that, uh, excuse me, <coughs> Lee, the retro, retro chef, helped me out big style with. Sold me a cartridge at a real good price. Thank you, mate, you star. Yeah, and that's, uh, uh, oh, excuse me, funny nose, oh, God. Now, I'm sure you wanted to see a fat lad blowing his nose when you woke up this morning. <sighs> Sorry, Mario Kart 64. Fucking awesome game. Again, uh, I love the whole series of these games. Um, I think I own... What don't I own? I think I need a GameCube version. 
and obviously the Wii U version I haven't got yet because it's not out but um, I think once I get those two I'll have all the Mario Kart games I believe uh, I've only got a cart on the SNES but I'd very much like to get a boxed copy for that but anyway yes uh, again this uh, this box is uh, real good nick which I'm real happy with because this game is going up in price all the fucking time yeah if you've not played this and uh, it's a must for the system in my opinion Sorry, it's a really fucking nasally, don't I? Uh, next up, another excellent condition game I've got. And that's uh, Mario Tennis. Not played this one a lot. It's alright. I mean, uh, the Mario Tennis and golf games are, you know, fairly standard games, really, aren't they? Uh, yeah, like I say, real good nick. So, so that one. And uh, another Mario game. Uh, this one, oh. I was a bit annoyed about the condition of this because it was listed as very good. And in my opinion, it's not very good. Uh, sorry. Yeah, Mario Pie. Um, as you can see, there's a bit of crushing and a bit of missing on the end. Which annoys the hell out of me because um, you get some wanker sellers, don't you? On eBay. I mean, I suppose I'm being fussy because the box is, in general, is in good nick, but it's just that bit. You know, it just annoys the hell out of me. Fucking good old eBay. So that's the one. I'd love to get um, Mario Party 2 and 3 as well, but they're just these go for colossal money a lot of the time, so maybe I'll come across a cheap one one day, I don't know. Uh, next up, which I think was a launch title for the N64, was Pilot Wing 64. Uh, this is a gorgeous game. <laughs> I remember playing this last time, um, for the first time, and um, just blew me away really. So relaxing, just to uh, glide around and just uh, float away. It's lovely. Uh, real good nick. There we go, that's that one. Uh, a game. I haven't played this recently at all. Um, I should do, because this is a great game, in my opinion. And that's uh, Star Wars Episode One Racer. Yeah, I've got my expansion pack back again. So big Star Wars fan. Well, not the later films so much. And by the sounds of it, they're butchering the new one they're making. So anyway, <coughs> yeah, another good game for the system. And uh, this one is probably even better. And that's uh, Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Love this game. Again, real good nick. Quality game. And uh, another fan favourite for the N64. I'm probably not a bigger fan of some people, but still a great game. That's uh, Super Mario 64. People shit themselves when this came out. I remember it well. Yeah, there's a bit of uh, label damage there, but yeah, pretty good nick. Yeah, this, um, this blew people away, didn't it? Back in the day. Ooh. He says throwing it around. Uh, another game that impressed me graphics wise uh, back then was uh, Wave Race. Uh, there's one level, I can't remember what it's called, even if it has a name. Uh, you run up like a lake, and the first lap you do is all misty. And then the second lap, the lift, uh, the mist lifts, and it just the graphics were awesome. I'll never forget that. Oh, yeah, this is a real good game. Wave Race uh, in pretty good nick. There we go, that's that one. Uh, a game I bought for nostalgic reasons. Little Cut 98, I like it. A lot of people think it's shit. That's that one. Uh, and the last two, which I'm, you will have seen, I picked up fairly recently. Uh, we got Zelda The Ocarina of Time in uh, Real Good Nick. I got this for a decent price as well. I can't remember exactly what I paid for it, but I remember I got it for a decent price. And uh, we got Zelda for Jorah's Mask. Again, I got this for a decent price. A little tiny bit of crushing on uh, this end, but in, in, overall in real good nick. Yeah, these, you know, like I say, they're all complete, so. Yeah, these two I've not, I'm not touched yet. And I'm in no rush to. Um, I just wanted to own them. Uh, before they went up any more in price because I don't think they'll ever come down. So yeah, it doesn't to me it doesn't matter if it takes me six months 
12 months, two years to play. You know, I will get around to playing them. The same as all my games. You know, you can't play, I don't know what, I've got 750 games in a week, can you? So, and then no rush at all. So yeah, that's my little N64 collection. Not massive, but um, you know, I think I think I've got a lot of quality stuff there. Games I love, uh, games I've enjoyed before. So that's that. Uh, I suppose I'd better show you what I've got in the post. I have no idea what these are. Ah, uh, we've got Dark Sector for the PS3. I've uh, been looking to pick this one up, found it cheap, I think I got this for 3 quid, or £3.50. Complete. Uh, another one to the collection. And, oh god, this looks like 90% tape. Oh. Here we go. Ah yes. Another game I've been after for a little while. I hope this is pretty good. So that is Vin Diesel's Wheelman. Yeah, it looks decent, so looking forward to playing that. Is that a poster or something? Oh, you get an actual map. That's pretty cool. Looks a uh, Grand Theft Auto style map. Yeah, that's all complete and good nick, so happy with that. Awesome. I think I got that for six quid. So two more to the PS3 collection there as well. So that's it from me, a uh, bit longer video than I thought, I'll probably edit out the bit where I'll answer the door to the postman, but um, if I don't, I apologise, because I'm a lazy fucker. That's it, um, yeah, I'll be back with this um, unboxing video on Tuesday, hopefully, um, yeah, I'm at work on Tuesday, but I'll probably do it Tuesday evening. So yes, all being well, also, I cannot wait for this as well, so uh, anyway, I'll talk more about it then, obviously. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks to the new subscribers, and uh, yeah, see you soon. Cheers guys.